I came here from Montreal and I wasn't sure what to expect about Toronto, but I love it. And I love the arts and culture scene, everything that's happening here. There's so much new works, new opera that are being created. Hi, I'm Anna Fefinéaire. Let me take you through an average day in the Ensemble Studio. Hey! How are you? I'm good, and you? Good. I try to get here at the COC before 10 o'clock in the morning because that's when the day starts and that's when all the practice rooms, the good practice rooms are taken. So I get my favorite practice room if I get here at around 9.30. Next weeks are going to be really crazy. We have seven shows in a row and I have family coming over, my boyfriend's coming, my parents are coming. We have also a bunch of auditions during that time. You know, most people when they hear about you're a musician or you're an artist and not the singer, Oh, you just, you know, you just sing around all day. It's no big yeah. deal. You don't work. We work a lot. A lot. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we are in charge of replicating the entire orchestra sound on one instrument. And majority of our rehearsals take place with just the piano and the singers. So whether it's violin, whether it's a wind instrument, if it's a percussion sound, we are trying to imitate those colors and timbres on our instrument. Just on that one, came from here. So if that's kicking, mm -hmm. bring it from underneath serratus down. So take it down before it comes out. My role as a performance kinetics consultant is relatively new in the world of opera. Certainly when our singers arrive at the COC, it is a different experience physically for them. It's a component that has not previously necessarily been asked of them in their training, either at a university setting or in private studios. Feel the elbow reaching beyond the ball, reach wide, that's it, that's it. And more pull through here, yeah? Without question, it is different and it is a high level of exertion. Feel it? Uh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Well, Liz, I mean, she's the backbone of the ensemble, really. When we have Liz, Wendy, and Stephen or Jen, like a sort of a, yeah. a trifecta, yeah. I love having all three of them together because then you have, you know, someone who's listening just for your diction, someone mm -hmm. who's listening to the overall sound, and then someone who's listening to just your voice. That's better. So acoustically, I hear you more in the sound. Yeah. It doesn't sound like it's just the top. Being in two productions is very challenging, but very exciting. I have the opportunity to run from one show to the other and experience two different sides of opera. Working on Hadrian has been crazy. It's crazy that my first assignment here at the COC is going to be a world premiere and an opera by Rufus Wainwright, which I love. <laughs> Stars. I remember when I was a teenager, I saw Thomas Hampson in recital, and it's crazy to think that from that point to now, I'm actually a colleague of his in a show. It's just mind-boggling. <laughs> you're at the theater till midnight, and then you go home, you sleep, and then the next day you wake up, you're going, I have to be ready physically to go back into the theater for another evening performance of a different show. It can be quite taxing on your physical presence, but you learn through your experience here how to do that. In bocca lupo? Is that the right Toy, 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 yeah. yeah. In bocca lupo. In bocca lupo. I feel like I've, I've been able to now push myself to a higher level because I'm surrounded by such a high level from my colleagues. 